Video number 161, inverse trig functions to find angle measures. Find all values for the angle that satisfy the following. Sine theta equals 0 0.9677.0915. All right. Now, in order to get the sine out of the way, we're going to need to do inverse sine of both sides. In order to get rid of this squared, we're going to have to do an inverse squared on both sides, which is square root. Or you could do the one half on both sides. Either way, you have to inverse the operation. We are going to inverse the sine operation. Inverse sine on both sides. Sine is gone, leaving you with theta by itself. Type this in the calculator. In order to do that, you're going to have to press second and then the sign button. You should be in good shape. It should spit this out to you. Now, the deal is, it's possible to get more than one correct answer. Where will sign be positive? Well, what is sign? It's the y value. So you're dealing with quadrant one and quadrant two. So. It's either 75 degrees this way or 75 degrees that way. Uh, you could subtract 75 from 180 to get 104.600005. We're going to round to uh, six decimal six decimal places. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we go. Find all values for the angle that satisfy the following. Secant of theta equals 1.16062492. This means, of course, cosine of theta equals 1 over that fraction because cosine and secant are co-functions. Then theta equals, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, cosine and secant are, yeah, inverse functions. Okay. Uh, so therefore, theta equals cos, uh, inverse cosine of that fraction because you do the inverse cosine of both sides. Giving you 30.502748. Then the question is, where is cosine positive? Cosine will be positive. Positive x value. Quadrant 1, quadrant 4. Therefore, we're either talking about 30 degrees or negative 30 degrees, which puts you down at 329.4972515 degrees. So there's the two possible values for theta. Any questions or concerns, send me an email. Good times.